Hi everyone, Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to another card making video. Today we're going to be looking at the newest issue of Simply Cards and Paper Craft and that is issue 209 and this is Christmas themed and this is a really really beautiful um, kit to create some fantastic Christmas cards. So this is the 24 piece Christmas craft kit and it's called Oh Christmas Tree. So this includes this Christmas tree embossing folder, you've got some dies, uh, some baubles, some tinsel, some presents and you've got a fabulous um, stamp set as well which has got some great stamps and sentiments. Then you've also got this really lovely pack of papers. Um, I think these are brilliant, brilliant papers. They're not sort of those, um, all of those traditional kinds of colours, um, which I really love sort of having something a little bit more untraditional for Christmas. They include this page as well, which has got these like ready built scene backgrounds for you. Um, and I just think they're absolutely perfect. If you, you know, want to build those kind of scenes with that uh, big Christmas tree, absolutely perfect for that. So again, you've got sort of Christmas tree style backgrounds, you've got these really beautiful kind of striped backgrounds as well and again you've got another scene so this is two outdoor scenes I think this is absolutely beautiful um this is a really really fabulous paper kit that I think is going to work perfectly with this set so let's go ahead and let, take a look in the magazine itself so like I said this is Oh Christmas Tree and they've got some really beautiful samples within this magazine so you can see they've got this lovely like diorama scenic card definitely going to be making one of those um you've got cards that sort of light up different kinds of concept cards um, again you've got those scene building cards as well and like you can see that bottom right hand side that's a perfect really easy make using that particular background so you've got samples of really fantastic gift ideas so different kinds of wrapping um, using the papers again using those stamps the wrapping around the chocolate bars I think is brilliant and again lots of different sort of techniques and styles as well using you know all elements using the stamps the embossing folder you, know, you don't have to use it like an embossing folder you could then cut around it you've just got a really fabulous big tray They've also got the die cut and essentials. They've got the wonderful wreath die set. I have ordered this magazine to subscribe to, but I'm not 100% sure which issue I will get. But the next issue of Simply Cards and Papercraft, I am absolutely looking forward to this. So this is an ultra new set, um, and I think it just looks absolutely beautiful. So this is going to have sort of layering um, elements in. So you can see these sort of little teaser samples are absolutely beautiful. So I'm super looking forward to receiving the next issue issue but that's sort of looking through the magazine for this issue so let's go ahead and get started at creating a card using this oh christmas tree mega christmas craft kit so the first thing we're going to do is take our christmas tree embossing folder and you can see i've cut a piece of white ink from cardstock just down to size so it fits perfectly within our embossing folder and we're just going to run that through my die cutting machine and i just think the impression that it gives is absolutely beautiful and i would recommend using a heavier cardstock um just to avoid any sort of ripping anything like that but i am also going to be using my alcohol markers to color this image in so i wanted that heavier so this is a 300 GSM. But I just think that impression that that embossing folder has given is absolutely incredible. And I think there's just so many different ways that you could use this embossing folder. Like I said, for our card today, what we're going to be doing is colouring in this image with our tri-blend markers. Um, but again, there's so many different things that you could do. So all I'm doing here is I've taken the alpine green colour, this is just the light end, and I'm literally just going to colour this image in. So I'm just going over the top of that embossed image. I'm not kind of being too careful, I think with an image like this, because it's a Christmas tree, you know, a tree and you've got branches and things, there were sort of places where I um, kind of come off the design a little bit. There was a few spots where the colour kind of just bled through a little bit further than what I wanted it to. But it's just going to look like part of the design. It's going to look like just a branch that's sort of sticking out. So I wasn't really sort of too worried about it. If you are going to be sort of colouring over um, embossed images like this, I would recommend having a really light touch. Um, like I said, because you would want to sort of stay within that image. Um, is just sort of go really, really lightly over the top. And then it shouldn't bleed through sort of too much. But like I said, that's why I'm using a 300 GSM cardstock, because I know that I shouldn't really have kind of too many problems. One of the other things I really, really love about this embossing folder and this image is it also includes 
um, sort of baubles in there. So you've got baubles on the ends of the branches. You've got baubles included sort of within that tree design. Um, it's also got sort of gaps and things as well. So like I said, there's just so many um, different sort of techniques, things you could do with this embossing folder. What I might do is for a video sort of later on uh, in the month um, is I might sort of just take the embossing folder and sort of see what we can um, do with it, see how many different techniques, how many different looks we can get from this one embossing folder. I have done that with a previous embossing folder that I got with Simply Cards and Papercraft, and I think I made about five cards. Um, but I just think this particular embossing folder is just going to be so, so much more versatile. So we will look at doing a video on that, like I said, later on in the month. But as you can see here, like I said, I'm literally just sort of colouring down and colouring around those sort of gaps and those baubles um, as much as possible. And like I said, this is just the light, uh, the light end of this Spectrum Noir pad. So you can see now we've got the whole tree sort of coloured in and I just wanted to put just a little bit of shade in here. So again, this is really up to you how you want to shade your image, where you want the highlights and the lowlights to be. I'm just sort of making it up as I go along, to be honest with you. Um, I'm just taking that dark end of my Spectrum Noir. So again, this is still the um, Alpine. So I'm just going in and just putting a little bit of shadow just to give this tree a little bit more depth and sort of that definition um, of, sort of the layers of the branches and things like that that so it's just going in just sort of scribbling a little bit of a line like I said nothing sort of too neat and tidy I want it to be as sort of um sort of rough and organic as possible um so now I've gone in with the dark so I've done the dark now I'm going to go in with that medium and again just really roughly blend it out and this again is just going to make it look a little bit more sort of realistic now you can see I'm just going back in with my light and I'm just blending that medium colour out. So again, just really simple sort of blending and using these alcohol markers. Um, I've done a couple of videos now where I've shown you these markers. There is going to be another video to come where we're going to sort of go into a little bit more depth with these pens. But I do think they're absolutely perfect. If you're not, you know, looking for anything um too difficult to use too difficult to blend and um, these are perfect i literally never have any issues kind of blending um these pens out please excuse my head there <laughs> um obviously just really getting into this coloring so once we've finished blending out our sort of the shadows on the trees i'm just going to take the red um dark red blend and I'm just going to colour in those baubles now again because I had a bit of a heavy hand and some of the baubles aren't sort of just balls I think this kind of made it look a little bit messy I'm hoping that by the end um it sort of didn't look as messy um but it did sort of, sort of bleed out a little bit more like I said I was just a little bit too heavy handed here but I do, again, really love this embossing folder. The fact that all of that detail is already in this image for you, um, you could literally just emboss this, colour it in like this, and that could be your card. Such an easy card that you could just sit down and colour, and that is just going to be, you know, your Christmas cards this year completely done. Just do one pass of the embossing folder, pop a sentiment on, and it would be perfect. But obviously, we're just going to take this card just a little bit further. So, like I said, all I do is just colour in these baubles, just put a little bit of um, shadow on there as well, just to sort of make them look a little bit better. So when I start thinking about the kind of card that I wanted to create for today's video, and I sort of knew that I wanted to use this embossing folder, I absolutely knew 100% that I wanted to have some glitter on here, I wanted it to be shining and glittering just like it should be at Christmas. So there's loads and loads of different products out there that you could use to create this kind of look. I'm actually just going to use some embossing powder. So I'm going to start off by using my anti-static powder tool, and that will just stop the embossing powder sticking to everywhere where I don't want it to be. And what I'm going to do is take this Versa marker, um, and this is like a sticky pen. So this is almost like an embossing pad um, ink in a pen. Um, and there's a brush end, and you've got like a fine end on it as well. And what you're able to do is literally just to put down some of that clear, uh, sticky sort of residue that you would get from your ink pad, but you can put it exactly where you want it to go. So this is perfect if you want to be a bit more precise about where you want to put your embossing powder. So I'm just sort of mainly going over some of the darker colour um, that I've put onto this Christmas tree. But I do end up adding sort of two layers just because I want to build it up a little bit more. Again, apologies to my head there. I think I was just really, really getting into making this card. 
Um, the embossing powder that I'm going to be using is a Paper Mania and it's just a holographic. So it's actually a clear embossing powder, um, but it has got glitter inside it. So a warning, if you don't like glitter, please don't use embossing powder uh, like this um, because the glitter did just get everywhere. It looked beautiful, but if you don't like glitter, probably not the product for you. So what we're going to do is just sprinkle this all over our Christmas tree. So you'll be able to see once we've knocked this um, embossing powder off, you'll be able to see exactly where that embossing powder and that glitter has stuck to our Versa marker absolutely perfectly. So it's exactly where we want it to be. Um, and I just think it's going to give our Christmas tree that really fantastic kind of frosted Christmassy look. This would be perfect if you are creating an outdoor kind of scene, um, just again to have that sort of glittery Christmas tree. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to be heat setting the embossing powder. I'm just heating up my heat, um, heat tool. So the one thing I would kind of recommend is to make sure that your heat tool is nice and hot before you put it up, uh, up against your project. Because I found that a lot of the glitter ended up just kind of getting blown off my project um, before the embossing powder had a chance to melt. So I do end up doing this twice. So once I've heat set uh, this layer, I go back in with that verse marker. And then just repeat the whole process again. And I pretty much just go over the same areas, add that embossing powder again, just to sort of help get that glitter to the point of, sort of where I really want it to, like I said, because it did some of it did kind of get blown off when I put my heat tool on it to begin with. So I've just finished heat setting my second layer. So hopefully throughout the video, when it sort of catches the light, you'll be able to see exactly sort of where our glitter is and, and just sort of see really how beautiful that looks. But all we're going to do now is just finish off our colouring of this Christmas tree. So I'm just going to colour in the star on the top and I'm using this golden yellow colour. Um, I thought that would be perfect uh, for our sort of Christmas tree topper. Um, and I'm also then just going to use a brown just to colour in that little stump that's just kind of right peeking out the bottom of our Christmas tree. So we finished that colouring and you can just see here in the light all of that glitter just looks absolutely beautiful on this Christmas tree. But what we're going to do now just to finish this panel is the, the sort of surrounding of the Christmas tree is looking a little bit white and bare. So what we're going to do is just do a little bit of inking around the edge. So I'm going to bring in this mixed media mat that we are going to be blending onto. Um, and I'm just going to be taking my prism watercolour ink pads and I'm just going to take a dobber. So normally you see me use my brushes. Um, these dobbers are by Hunky Dory and I am just giving it another go. I think the reason why I didn't get on with these kind of um, tools before is because I did buy cheaper ones um, but I have found that using these hunky dory ones um, sort of the velcro is a lot better the actual sponge pads are a lot better and um, so we're just going to see how we get on with these so like I said I'm using my world of color ink pad this is evergreen and it should just go really lightly around the edge just to help sort of bring the focus into that Christmas tree and just like I said so it doesn't look sort of too bare around the outside also, if you've seen my last video where I did my um, craft stash haul, you will know um, along with my tri-blend markers that I purchased, I also got these ink pad storage. And honestly, if you've got these ink pads or any ink pads, to be honest with you, and you need some really easy storage, this is amazing. So I've been crafting for the last couple of days. Um, and honestly, they have just made my life so, so much easier. I don't want to sound dramatic about it. Honestly, it's changed my life. It means I'm not rummaging around trying to find whatever colour I want. Um, yeah, it's just so, so much better. But you can see we've just inked around the edge of that. And like I said, it's just going to pull in um, your focus into our really beautiful Christmas tree in the centre. So the next thing I'm going to do is just decorate our Christmas tree a little bit. So included in this uh, craft kit, you did get some dyes. You've got some baubles and some tinsel and just these really beautiful, I guess maybe they're sort of lights, um, but absolutely beautiful. So I've cut this out of some gold Miri card um, and we're just going to be gluing this on top of our Christmas tree just to help kind of decorate it. Also a great way if you've got any sort of sections of the Christmas tree perhaps you can, where you have coloured it in and you know the colouring isn't perfect maybe it's bled out a little bit you know it's really great that you've got these additional sort of dye images that you are able then to kind of cover those areas a little bit. 
So what I'm doing, I've just got my glue pen here. I've cut six of these out. And I'm just going to kind of drape these over the Christmas tree, um, just sort of different ways in different places, just to kind of really decorate this tree. So you can see I've stuck everything down and now we're going to go ahead and start putting our cards together. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the paper pack and just pick a paper. So the first thing I do if any of these magazines come with these paper packs is I actually take the staple out because I find then if you try to sort of rip the paper, um, it just kind of rips it and you sort of lose a bit of the paper. So I just like to take the staple out and then I can just cut the papers in half. So the first thing I've done is just mounted our Christmas tree onto some of that Miri card as well, um, just to help tie in with the decoration that's on the Christmas tree. And now we're just going to stick down our patterned paper. So what I do like about using a card this size um, is the embossing folder is smaller, so you get a really nice sort of bigger border um, for this size card, because I really... So I love using patterned paper, but sometimes I find if you only have that really thin border, I think you can never really see what the pattern is, so what's the point? Um, but with this, because you've got a much thicker border, you're able to kind of see that design um, of those houses kind of behind it. And I think, you know, it still looks really nice because you can see it. So our Christmas tree panel is going to go onto some foam pads and that's how just to lift it off the cards a little bit it means you can see a little bit more of the background um, and it just sort of makes it the focal point of our card then. So we can go ahead and get this stuck down. Like I said, it's going to give us that really, really nice sort of wider border around the edge. And I love that mirror card and that just bit of shine and that glitter that we've got on the Christmas tree. Um, I just think it makes it look super festive. Um, but that background isn't, you know, your sort of really traditional kinds of Christmas cards. And that's what I really love. It's just something a little bit different at Christmas. So the last thing we've got to do just to finish our card off is we're going to pop a sentiment. So again, this set has got some really, really good sentiments in here. Some really good generics. So it doesn't matter what kinds of cards you're creating, you will be able to use these sentiments. So the sentiment we're going to use is we wish you a Merry Christmas. And I've just popped this into my stamping platform. So you'll notice I've already stamped it once. I did use my acrylic block to begin with, but I wanted to get that really, really crisp image. Um, so I just decided to stamp it again using my stamping platform. And I do do this a couple of times. Um, the ink I'm using, as always, is that Memento Tuxedo Black ink pad. Perfect for this. It's not going to smudge. And just to make sure that it doesn't smudge, I'm going to heat set this with some clear embossing powder as well just to kind of finish it off and it make it sort of that little bit shiny as well. I also backed our sentiments onto the same gold mirror card as well just to kind of keep everything um, similar and I'm just going to sort of put this on the kind of lower um, portion of this card because I was thinking about putting it at the top but it's quite a big sentiment um, and I didn't want to kind of cover that sort of top section so I just decided to go where there was sort of a little bit more of a gap um, on our card and that is then this card all finished so super easy to um, create we've done quite a few sort of different things here we've um, you know we've embossed we've done heat embossing uh, with the glitter and just sort of that clear embossing powder we have coloured in it using our alcohol markers so we've done loads of different things but everything really comes together really really beautifully with this card and again I think this is going to create some really amazing Christmas cards. So that's it for this video and the first look at Simply Cards and Papercraft issue 209. And this is the O Christmas Tree Mega Christmas Crafting Kit. So you get that embossing folder, the stamps, the dies and those papers as well. So if you like this video and this card, please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. You won't miss out then on any future videos and there will be a couple more videos coming um, using this craft kit. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. So thanks very much for watching and happy crafting.